magical sparks welcome back to my channel it's sparkle here and today i have a very special video for you all <laughs> because i think i just made my very best drawing ever in this video so make sure to keep watching <laughs> but firstly hold on what's this what's going on so the company artex was so kind they sent me some art supplies to try out and to share with you guys these are new art supplies by the way and the box was very big so let's see what's inside so they sent me two brand new art supplies to try out and a little gift for me to decorate but more on that later firstly let's open these up here's the first one done and now it's time for the second Now let's take a peek. So as you can tell, the two sets we opened are two sets of acrylic markers. But before we talk more about that, let's see what's inside here. Or actually, maybe I'll just have a look and you guys can see a tiny bit later. <laughs> okay, now back to the markers. Here are how they look. We have two marker sets and each set consists of 60 markers. But let's look at this one first. And this one is the 60B set, by the way. Opening up brand new art supplies is always so much fun. And now here is how the box looks. As you can see, there's a nice little quote at the bottom. And this marker set, like I said before, consists of 60 acrylic markers. That is brush tip markers. And look at this packaging. It's so nice and beautiful. I love the attention to detail. And here are all the colors you get in this set. And now it's time for the part that's even more fun than opening the packaging, and that is actually opening up the art supply and taking a look at what's inside. So as you can see, this is a sticker sheet that you can stick on your markers to label them. There's also this thank you card from Artex, and there is another sticker sheet which you can place on a different part of the marker. I will explain that a tiny bit later, but you have two options, so you can go with both of them, either of them, or none. <laughs> it's up to you. And Finally, here are the markers! I personally love how these markers are standing by themselves and this is how there's like a grid underneath that holds them in their place and I just think that's such a nice feature and now let's look at the actual markers so here's how it looks as you can see it is labeled with brush because it is a brush tip and this is how the front and the back looks and in the front there's a tiny little a which is so nice and now it's time to look at what is inside and here we go it is a brush tip marker and also you might be happy to know that the cap does fit on the other side <laughs> and now that we have seen the marker i think it's time we start putting the stickers on so this sticker i believe is meant to go on the back of the marker like that and the other sticker i think it's up to you where you want to put it but i just kind of put it like at the end of the marker because i thought that might be the easiest place for me to access it but I only added it for this one just to show you guys. But for the rest of the markers, I just went with the tiny circle stickers because I think that's pretty much all I need. But like I said before, I think it's a great thing that you have the option to do what you want and kind of customize it to how you want to use your markers. And ta-da! All these small circle stickers have been added on to the markers. And now I think it's time that we pack this up and unbox the other set, which is the 60A marker set. By the way, how do you like this transition? Because I'm pretty proud of it. <laughs> now let's open it up. That was so much fun. <laughs> and now here is how the box looks. It has a similar kind of setup. There's like a small quote at the bottom. It's labeled with 60 markers. It has the Artex logo. And once again, the packaging and design, I think, is very, very pretty. I love how it looks and it's so vibrant and nice. And on the back, we have all the marker colors that come in this marker set. And just to compare, I went ahead and put these two sets next to each other. So here's how they look. 
I was just looking at the back of the box and I think there might be some metallic colors, so let's find out if there actually are. Time to open up our box once again and inside, same as last time, we have the thank you card from Artex, which is very nice. And then we have the two sticker sheets. We have these small circle ones and we have these bigger ones that you can put on if you'd like to. And here are how the markers look. I love the colors already. Like, just look at it. There are so many colors. And it's the same kind of grid setup here as well, which is how they're just standing in their place. And now let's put our stickers on. Okay, now check this out. Look at how some of these stickers have a bit of a effect to them. Like they look like they're metallic. That's because I just hopped onto Ardex's website and it's mentioned that in this 60A marker set, there are 50 classic colors, six neon colors, and four metallic colors. And that is such a good variety. Also, I just love metallic colors in general because they are so, so shiny and pretty. I mean, who wouldn't love it? And now that you guys know what is inside these two marker sets, I think it's time I show you guys what's inside this secret package. I'm just kidding. It's not actually a secret. Artex kindly sent me some Easter themed coloring objects to color in as well and to decorate and customize with these markers. So we're going to be doing that in this video as well. So that was just the introduction. So now let's actually start. Did that look like magic? <laughs> okay, and now let's go ahead and swatch our markers. I'm almost finished with my sketchbook, by the way, which is so exciting. I'm going to be starting off by trying out the 60A set and trying out all the colors in this set. So let's see how they look. And now here are all the colors in this marker set. They look really nice, the basic ones, the neon ones, and the metallic ones. So now let's see how these 60B marker colors look. And now finally, here is a nice grand reveal of all the colors we get in the set. So we have 60A on the left and we have 60B on the right. I think they both have such a great variety of colors. And with that, I think it's time we try to experiment with these markers. So to start it off, let's pick out three colors. Well, actually, I ended up going with four. So we have the pink, purple, green, and a yellow. Then I tried blending them in some different ways using different methods. And here is how that's turning out. When it comes to these types of markers, there are lots of different ways to blend them, just as there are lots of different ways to blend acrylic paint, for example. And in the end, it comes down to your technique and the type of look or texture you're trying to achieve. Also, look at how smoothly the white marker goes on the paper. And over here, I was just trying to layer some different colors on top of other different colors just to see how well they layer and work and here's how it turned out and now let's test out the nib so as you can see you can get a lot of different varieties with the nib and from what i could feel it was very flexible and nice which i loved and look at this i even tried doing one of those like flower designs where you press the nib on the paper and i was kind of nervous but i think it turned out looking pretty good also it was lots of fun to draw and now that we have tested out the markers i think it's time that we go ahead and we start decorating these adorable easter gifts i loved them so much i loved every single gift that i got because i think they're just all so cute also i haven't tried doing something like this in a very very long time so it was lots of fun just to kind of get my hands going and draw on something that i could hang around as a decoration and it was just so much fun i just kept layering a bunch of colors and just kind of following my heart and at the end with this one i kind of ended up going with a pastel dreamy kind of theme which i love and the entire coloring process was so much fun also look at this pink i didn't like it so i went ahead and covered it up with a lighter color that is something i love about this marker set because 
because since it's acrylic markers you can kind of like cover up your mistakes which you can see me do later on in this video actually for the final drawing because i colored in something that i didn't like it then i went ahead and i covered the entire thing up and started again and it worked out really well like it's similar to acrylic paint like if you mess up you can just cover up your mistakes and with this pen you also have that kind of option as well which is really nice Okay, but like just look at how well this goes on and how shiny this silver metallic marker is. It looks so pretty and so shiny. So I decided to use it to cover up the back of the bunny. Then I decided that I didn't like it so much, but no problem, no worries. I just grabbed my neon pink and I covered that up and yeah, we're done. And then I went ahead and I used the Artex white gel pen to write this on the wooden egg because it just reminded me of that, just the colors and the way it looks and it just looks so dreamy and magical and yeah, I just loved it. Also, I'm saving this egg for the future to customize of course and now here is how it looks like i said it looks so dreamy and nice i love the colors and i think the word magic was the perfect fit to write on this egg and now we have our 3d egg i love the colors on this on one side we have a heart on the other side we have a beautiful sparkle and i just love both sides of it i love the colors and I also love the colors of the bunny in the back and the front. I love how vibrant the shell is and the face looks adorable. And that's pretty much how it turned out. Thank you so much Artex for these amazing gifts. They were so much fun to customize. And like I said, I'm gonna save this egg for the future to customize afterwards. And now comes the part you've probably been waiting for, which is working on the final drawing of this video. So you might remember this sketchbook from 2021, the end of 2021. I started this when I actually had my channel and some of these drawings you might recognize from my really, really, really old videos actually. But eventually I kind of abandoned this sketchbook and I felt really bad because I came across it recently and honestly, I like the sketchbook. I like the drawings that I've made and I want to kind of work on it bit by bit. And then I looked at the front page and I looked at the front cover and they were both plain. So the very first step is going to be to customize the sketchbook by drawing on the front page and drawing a design on the front cover as well. So let's get started. So I did have a concept for this, but it wasn't fitting properly on the paper. So I decided to turn my sketchbook the other way. And now let's actually get started. So my concept is to draw a fairy. Now my concept really really changed throughout this drawing. Initially it was just to draw a fairy, then it became a fairy with ice cream. Then I wanted to draw like a really pretty background with like rainbow trees and like a galaxy and everything. But you will see, the plan changed a lot along the way and, and even though I didn't go with my initial idea, I'm still really happy with how the final drawing turned out. Now I'm going to talk more about the drawing a bit afterwards, but for now I want to talk about the markers and what I think about them and both of the sets. So let's start it off with my thoughts in general. So when it comes to the markers, first of all, I love the packaging. I think it's just really great because in the end, all you have to do is just take off the lid of the box and all your markers are right there in front of you and you can just start drawing. I think that's pretty cool. Secondly, I also love that inside the boxes there are like grids. So because of the grids, the markers stay in their places. So whatever order you put your markers in, they're going to stay in that exact same order, which is really nice, especially if you have like a system when it comes to how you arrange your markers as well. I also love that these stickers are customizable so you can put whatever stickers you want on your markers to like label the numbers or you can just not. <laughs> it's up to you in the end. I love that aspect of it. I also like that the markers are brush tip markers because since they're brush tip, you can get like a variety of different line widths, if that makes sense. Like you can color in really, really small or you can make it really wide like I demonstrated before. And I also like that the nibs are pretty strong but flexible at the same time. I'm also happy with how well the ink from the markers applies on paper. I think it flows very smoothly. And because these are acrylic markers, you can achieve a lot of 
cool effects with them like you can layer different colors on top of each other you can just paint over something you don't like or would it be color or paint <laughs> but you get the point you can cover up a mistake that you made or you can just keep on adding new details i think it's really nice that this marker set has like aspects of acrylic paint to it i think that's just really cool it's kind of like having access to acrylic paint but without having to worry about setting up the palette every time or cleaning your palette getting the water getting your paint brushes it's just like open up the lid and there you go you have your acrylic markers to use just something to consider would be that sometimes when you apply a color it might look a certain way but when it dries it might look a different way this is kind of similar to how a lot of gouache paints work because when it's wet it might look different to when it's dry sometimes it may dry a little darker or a little bit lighter so I'd recommend having like a piece of paper where you've kind of swatched your markers or if you're working on a drawing like this maybe you can just like use a part of the page just to kind of test out your marker before you use it just to make sure that when it dries you know you'll have the right color but coming back to what i said before let's say you color in something but don't like how that color looks or you just don't think that's the right color for that specific part of the drawing don't worry too much you can just grab the right color and layer it on top of this color and just keep layering until you get the color or effect that you want and now here are my thoughts on these specific marker sets so when it comes to the 60a set i love like i've mentioned a lot of times before how there are three types of markers in that set you have your basic markers and then you have your metallic ones and then you have those really really bright neon colors and I think it's just such a great option to have like if you're just investing in a 60a set I think I'd be happy with these options and also when it comes to the 60b set the color options are so nice they're so pretty I love the pastel colors as well and honestly when it comes to either of these sets I think they're really great in the end both sets offer a really good variety of colors in my opinion like you have your pastel colors you have your darker colors but I think it depends on choosing what you think is right for you and the type of art that you're making or that you want to start making and just working with that. By the way, when I was working on this drawing, I used a combination of markers from both marker sets and the pastel colors I used to color in the hair were definitely my favorite colors of them all. It's honestly crazy to think that this drawing took me, I think, at least a minimum of five hours to make. But like, I'm speeding it up so much that it's going to be over in a couple of minutes. But still, I hope you guys enjoy seeing my process of how this drawing comes together. And my intention for this drawing was to kind of make something that... When someone looks at it they'd say wow so let me know if that ended up working and if you said wow when you looked at it in the very end okay now here i tried adding shadows to one side of the hair and i used my book to kind of cover up the other side to see which side i like best and honestly i like the left side better so i went ahead and i kind of reversed my actions in real life with the right side by covering up all the darkness then I ended up making this and I couldn't decide if I liked the before or the after but I decided to go with the after and then I kind of just kept on adding more and more mini hair strands here and there just to make it look more detailed and better and in the end I'm really happy with how it's looking and for the outfit I decided to go with this particular blue color it's a pastel blue color but it's different to the type of blue I used to color in the hair so that way there would still be contrast between the hair and the outfit and I also used the same purple marker that I used to color in some parts of the hair to add a bit of shading and depth to the outfit. I really enjoyed this style of drawing where I hadn't done the line art or outlining prior to the coloring process because that way I could just kind of make up things as I went and just add them in and worst case scenario if I don't like them I can just cover them up and draw something different. For example with this ice cream I was testing out the colors everywhere. I was just adding random colors and different places and hoping it would turn out well and it was such a fun process.
<laughs> you know how sometimes you do something that you like but you don't realize how much you like it until you mess up and then you realize maybe what was there before was actually better than what there is right now something like that kind of happened to me because if i'm being honest this is how my drawing looked before this is after before it was simple and nice and afterwards it just looks like there's too much going on and it's a bit distracting so i decided to go ahead and bring back what was there before by firstly covering up the entire wing with a couple of layers of blue using the blue acrylic marker then i went ahead and i tried to bring back the same design by layering these similar colors on top of each other and using some white as well just to make them really pop but this time i was being slow and intentional and trying to make it look as best as i could also look at this metallic marker isn't this color so so pretty almost done with this drawing we just need to add sparkles and sign it off but before that let's go ahead and customize the cover so for the cover i wanted to do something really kind of simplistic and elegant at the same time i didn't want to make a complete drawing with a lot of detail because the front page already has a lot of detail in it so for the front cover i wanted to go with something nice and simple but something that also kind of matches the first page so i decided to draw a butterfly with similar pastel colors so after sketching out a very rough outline from imagination i went ahead and i grabbed the silver metallic marker and i used it to just draw on some of the details of the drawing making sure that parts of the cover as in the black parts of it are still showing through once i was done with that i went ahead and i added the colors that i actually want the drawing to be on top and this way i knew exactly where to place the colors and i could blend them at the same time so we have a pink a purple and a blue and then afterwards i took my black marker to kind of define those lines and it's getting a lot more exciting because we're almost done with this drawing we just have to add some sparkles and sign it off by the way the company artex has provided some links that i will be adding in the description of the video i believe that there are discount codes and sales that are happening so if you'd like to find out more about that make sure to check out the description down below where i will be adding the links and the details and information the artex has provided me and with that it is time for the very final grand reveal and here is how it looks i went ahead and added some metallic lines here and there just to make the drawing pop even more and some sparkles because on the front page i also added a lot of sparkles as well so i started this sketchbook on october 2021 and let's see exactly when i end up finishing it because at this point i have no idea <laughs> and yeah here's how the drawing turned out let me know what you think in the comments down below Thank you so much Artex for sending me your art supplies to try out. I genuinely loved using the 60A and 60B acrylic marker sets. They are both so wonderful to work with and the packaging is absolutely stunning. And just a reminder, there will be links in the description if you would like to purchase these products as well. And with that, Bunny wants to say bye, so bye bye! <laughs> bye Magical Sparks and I'll see you all in the next video. Also, if you've watched the video until the very very end, can I just say thank you so much? It really means a lot to me and, and if you'd like to, make sure to comment this emoji down below to let me know that you've made it this far because you are amazing. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!